You should speak to your GP about contraception as soon as you think or are about to go into a sexual relationship. There are some reasons that some women will need to go on contraception earlier that are unrelated to actually preventing pregnancy, um, but generally as soon as you're in a relationship and you think it's going to be sexual, it would be a good idea to talk about contraception. Even if you don't plan on going on it, it's good to know about your options. If you are a young woman looking for contraception but you are 16 years or over, you do not need to bring your parents with you, you can just come alone. If you are 15 years of age or younger, you do need to bring a parent with you. There are lots of contraception options and obviously you've got the barrier contraception which is condoms. We do recommend that you do take hormonal contraception on top of that as condoms are only about 70 or 80 percent effective in real-time use. So in terms of hormonal contraception you've got two different sorts of pills, contraceptive pills which you take every day. Um, you've got an implant, that's implant that sits in your arm which we can put here in the surgery that lasts for three years. You can also have three monthly injections um, which you can come in every three months to get those ones done and that you can also have an IUD which is an intrauterine device that sits in your uterus which we have to change every five years. The most effective forms of contraceptions are the ones that are staying in your body. We know that pe people that take the contraceptive pills often forget to take the pills or perhaps you might vomit one up one day um, and this reduces the effectiveness of the contraceptive use. So if you're super worried and you want to have beyond 99% effective contraception, I would recommend a long-acting contraception such as the implant in your arm or the intrauterine device. There are side effects of every medication that you take. Um, with hormones it tends to be um, things like mood changes, perhaps changes to your acne, um, but this is, could be a, a positive mood change and it could be a positive effect on your acne. We, we know that hormones have an effect on your body. Most women don't experience any side effects. Um, a major one is also a change to your periods, but that usually is a positive change as well, with most forms of contraception reducing your periods and the pain of your periods. Well, we'll always be reassessing your need to have contraception because there are risks and side effects associated with contraception. But so long as you know the benefits outweigh the risks, you can actually stay on these forms of contraception, most of them, all the way up until menopause. If you're taking any form of contraceptive pill, we recommend that you come in at least yearly to review that. If you are on any form of long-acting long contraception, like the implant or the intrauterine device, they only needed to be reviewed when you actually want to change them over or if you have a specific concern. There's a common myth that goes around that if you are on long-term contraception that it does play around with your cycle. I can guarantee you that it does not affect your fertility. If there was going to be a problem with your fertility, it was going to happen to you anyway.